Welcome everyone back to the United States of America. Woo, we made it! It is good to be back. We've been here for like literally two days. We're already like, let's go to another theme park. <laughs> hey. So naturally, we pick Six Flags Great Adventure. Yeah. We're so stoked to be here. They have a brand new festival going on. That's what the sign that you can see right here is for summer vibes. We got a ton of stuff that we're gonna be showing you, including the all new retheme of Bizarro it is back to Medusa. Um, we're excited to show you how that looks. Uh, from the pictures we've seen, it looks incredible. Yeah, um, also, this is my friend Dan. Hi, Dan. How you doing? I've known Dan since so. we were in fourth grade. We like both grew up in New Jersey, and somehow he's never been here before, so I was like, you should definitely come. I'm the come. laziest person on the planet. <laughs> yeah. All right, what are you most excited to ride? Uh, oh, man, El Toro. I saw that. I love, I mean, wooden coasters. I've been on a few. Oh, man. Well, this is going to be the top tier. Yeah, this, this is, like oh. is going to blow like your mind. And oh, I know you saw King Ka on your way in. Is that not the craziest looking thing? I mean, you see it right above the trees, like way in the skyline. That's crazy. It's crazy. I'm yeah. excited for that. Absolutely too. insane. It's going to be a great day. Let's head on into the park. In case you missed it, we have an all new entrance gate for Six Flags Great Adventure right when you come in and the security checkpoint looks awesome. Much, much needed improvement here. After you pass through that new front gate, we got a bunch of balloons right here right before you go in through the turnstiles. That's so fun, setting the mood for a fun filled day. Made it in the park, more of those balloons there and right in front of Joker, a bunch of these hanging umbrellas. If you guys have been to Dollywood, I know they did a similar festival, but actually it even goes back further than that. This is from a festival that happens in Spain where they just have a bunch of these colorful umbrellas like hanging from the streets and it's so cool. So I really like that they brought that here. I would honestly love to see more parks do something like this. On the other side, Joker here. That is the largest beach ball I think I've ever seen. Oh my gosh. And then last time we were here in the spring, this pavilion was under construction, it is now completed. So now you have a shaded area to sit and eat. Johnny Rockets. We're heading over to Medusa first and check this out. So as part of Summer Vibes Festival, Six Flags Great Adventure has street entertainment all throughout the park. So completely scattered among the pathways, just people doing acrobatics and different live entertainment. That is awesome. Wow, she's very talented. I could not do that. Don't ask me to. This right here is the clumsy juggler. He's got a toilet bowl around his neck. <laughs> this is awesome. Look at this on the pathway. They have these buckets mimicking paint that's just scattered all throughout. That looks so good. That's actually a really cool illusion. This might be the best thing I've ever seen. Oh my gosh. This is incredible. Ha! <laughs> Whee! <laughs> Do the dance! Do the dance! Whoa! <laughs> Welcome to Medusa. Look at this all new entrance here. This looks great. Also, fun fact, this wood post right here is actually a reference in paying homage to the original entrance to Medusa back in 1999. Ooh. You know, I'll be honest, I I wasn't sure how I felt about it when they announced, you know, Bizarro is going away and they're bringing back Medusa because I really did like the Bizarro colors, but this looks great in person. I really do like what they've done here. I'm about to go for our first ride on it. And right here at the entrance to the queue, they have these signs here kind of detailing the story of Medusa. So I'll try and paraphrase it here. But essentially you have these guys here for the gold rush that have come to the town of Medusa and these mysterious things start happening such as earth tremors, snakes. And so they believe that it is Medusa who is causing everything and a flash flood comes in and takes out the entire town. And so this ride is a tribute to the town that got destroyed by Medusa. Got some crates and barrels here with all this dynamite. Don't worry guys, it's not real. Here we go, our first ever ride on Medusa. Woo! Gone is bizarre, this is the all new re-theme. From what we've been hearing, it is running better than ever. I'm very excited. I actually don't think I ever rode it as Medusa you back really? in the day. Really? I don't really? think I ever did, no. And if I did, I most certainly don't remember. Yo, so that's cool. fair. And Dan, this is your first roller coaster here at Six Flags Great Adventure. First ever. Yeah. You're excited? I can't believe that. Oh, I'm pumped. I'm ready. We're in the front oh. row. Great view straight ahead of the safari. And we're about to go through seven different inversions. This is an awesome floorless coaster. Hooray! Down we go. Yeah.
already an improvement. Ah, oh, big time improvement. is kind of a, a little bit on the shakier side. Uh, not not right now. What'd you think? Uh, that move, I mean, it felt like butter, huh? <laughs> there you go. Yeah, this, was, thing, this thing like pulls some G's. I was, uh, like, I literally grayed out there uh, going into the dive loop, which they kept the fire and the fire was on. Like, it's a little hot for the fire, but it was cool. <laughs> but I mean, even when it was bizarro, like that was like one of the things that like, is normally supposed to be working, but it isn't always there. Yeah, so today they, everything like, was working. No, was that, awesome. that's awesome. And hopefully <laughs> it, like, it yeah. stays that way, you know? Did you notice also at the bottom of the first drop, they kept the kind of Superman emblem. Yeah. Kind of like as, as homage to uh, Bizarro, which I think was And fun. you know what? I didn't turn to stone. Yeah, we never turned to stone. Excellent. <laughs> I like what they did here. I think I that too. I like, like now that it's done, I'm like, wow, like this was like much needed. Yeah. Cause uh, like I didn't even really think about it before, but the Bizarro area was a little bit of an odd placement. Like it, it was definitely a little outdated. Like when you have a lot more of like the superhero areas uh, elsewhere in the park. Like, yeah, now this is totally different over here. Yeah, and I like that they didn't go with like an obvious like Medusa mythology direct theme. Like it's a little bit more um, in depth and kind of California Gold Rush yeah, style. Yeah, I really, really like that they put that much thought into the storyline. Like that's awesome. And the ride is running better than I've ever. Been. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I know I mentioned this in our like rider reaction, but sometimes this it can be one of those rides that can run a little bit on the shakier side. But I can tell that they've done some work to those trains. It was running really well. And it just looks nice. Like it does. I am, I am satisfied. Yeah, yeah. This area, this area of the park just feels like it just got this massive refresh. So I 100% approve. Great job, Six Flags. Next up, one of my favorite experiences here, and that is Zumanjaro. It's the world's tallest drop tower. Absolutely incredible experience, but it was only last year that the park actually started cycling King of the Ka at the same time as it, and now it is one of the best must-do experiences in the world. Let's go for a ride. Zumanjaro was a walk-on, so we did a couple laps around. Uh, that thing is crazy. You can hear it go right now. We got a couple laps in where it was dueling with Zumanjaro. It is Literally so insane. cool. All right, Dan, Mike, uh, you guys first so time. We've done this before. Yeah, what did you, you guys think of this? Um, when the roller coaster when it first came up and it was like shaking up there, and you see like. I don't know, you see like AC or something in the distance? Oh my god. I think that was Philly. <laughs> I just wanted to Philly. Oh my, what? It, You've lost ooh. your brain. It just went. <laughs> yeah, no, it, it's what it shook. It gave me the, it gave me the chills. The heebie-jeebies. Yeah, the heebie-jeebies. <laughs> what do you think, Micah? Getting stuck at the top and seeing like a plane go by? That's pretty sick. Yeah! yeah. That plane Dude, was a little big, big, big massive plane was flying like right past like us. Yeah, that's yeah, there's like a, an airport like right over there where there's like an Air Force Base or something. Yes, uh, that is true. Uh, Trenton Airport's over there too. Yeah, that, yep, so there you go. Um, super, super cool. All right, so we're sampling some food and drink here. This is a virgin berry lemonade. It is incredible. This is insane. This is insane, and you have to try it. It is so and I'm not just good. That. It's so refreshing. All right, if you thought the previous one was insane, this is crazier. This is the virgin rock candy, like berry soda. Amazing. It it's is got edible glitter in it. Yeah, it is so sugary and like amazing. You can yeah. get all this, by the way, at this uh, pavilion over here by those rainbow umbrellas that we were talking about and earlier. You want you can add vodka to them. Also on the list, this is the spicy guacamole burger. It's really good, but it does have a kick, so be aware of that. This is absolutely incredible. So these are buffalo chicken nachos with Cool Ranch Doritos. <laughs> they are so good. That is spicy. <laughs> I told you it's spicy. It's really good though. <laughs> I swear, every time we try something else, it's like the best thing ever. This is seriously like the best food that Great Adventures ever had. This is above and beyond. Like this is not like your typical theme park food at all, but yeah. this. It's a Korean it barbecue so pulled pork it's got sandwich. A kick, but like the flavor is so good. Incredible. All right, so these are the Nashville hot wings. As expected, they do have a kick, but the flavor is really nice. And then these are uh, sesame chicken wings. I think I prefer these a bit more, but 
Uh, overall, of all the things we've sampled, this is like just a hint of what they have to offer. There's like 45 different offerings for this festival. What do you guys think? What are your What are your faves? Oh, those, Absolutely insane. The barbecue, the nachos. The nachos were incredible. The lemonade, like that oh, is yeah. so that. good. That it was great. Lemonade. It was good. Yeah, it's gone now. <laughs> all right, this is incredible. This walkway leading to this half of the park. Look at this. These are all pinwheels. That's so fun. Like, looking at it from a distance, you think it was just like streamers or something. There are 50,000 pinwheels here, and they were all made by hand by Grey Adventure staff. That is so impressive. Next up on our Summer Vibes checklist in the Showcase Theater, we got something pretty cool we're gonna take a look at that they have going on right now. So Showcase Vibes is full of cool tunnels like this that are meant to be photo moments for like Instagram so you can do some uh, really cool shots. Here's Vibe with different pool noodles and here's a really cool photo op with these butterfly wings. This is awesome. This is like a retro display. This has got print from every single year since the park has been open. Like. Wow, that's a good way to nerd out. Look at this, new for 1996 Skull Mountain. There's the Ultra Twister. Oh my gosh, the nostalgia. All right, so two rides later, we did Batman and we did Jersey Devil a couple times. Uh, Dan, you said Batman was your favorite and then you changed your mind and said Jersey Devil was your favorite, right? Yeah, a Jersey Devil's been my favorite so far, I would say. I like how it throws you around, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah that's that RMC action we love. Absolutely. <laughs> He's a fan in the making. Absolutely. Yeah. That thing is running like a dream. It is so much faster. A lot better than yeah. when it first opened. I was graying out after the mid-course on that like low to the ground turn, oh. which I don't recall ever graying out no, on before. Not on that ride. <laughs> and you said that so far Batman's been your yeah, favorite, Batman's right? still my favorite. I'd say Jersey Devil, the back rows. Okay. That's up there, but I'd still put Batman so in. So what did you like about Batman? I just love the speed of it, really. Even though uh, even though Jersey Devil, I think, was faster, yeah. just Batman felt faster. I don't know. It's the pacing. It's the pacing. It's the pacing. It, that thing flies. Yeah. yeah, it is so good. But yes, yeah, Jersey Devil, Improved immensely. Absolutely. So next up we have Skull Mountain and they have an overlay on this currently where uh, they have some uh, uh, pretty cool stuff because of the Summer Vibes Festival. So uh, we're going to see some lights, I think we're going to hear some music and we're going to take you guys along for the ride and it'll be our first time experiencing it like this so let's see what they got in store for us. Two rides there on King Dika, one of which is in the front row. Oh, there's nothing like it. That, just the biggest dose of adrenaline, like, and the fact that you just shoot down there so fast, so high up there. Uh, guys, your first time. Uh, yeah, we uh, is your mind guys. blown? Yeah, I, I mean, it. Was, I would say you said best is like my soul left my body there. <laughs> And then at the end, after that hill at the end, I was like maniacally laughing. It just like broke me. I was a whole experience. I could feel my eyelids like moving yeah. back. Over. Yep, yep, that that's how it goes. I almost fell out. That literally changed my life. You were right on the... I told you, <laughs> I, like to, I like to think I'm a better person now than I was. <laughs> you've, you've, you I've came, you, you conquered, you yeah. did it. You can walk away feeling successful. I would still like feel like yeah, numb. Like it's so bizarre. Yeah. yeah. The bathroom like thrashing around. That was wild. Oh, yeah, yeah, back row is crazy. And you know, Sarah and I, our other ride was in the second row. There is such a big difference between row two and row one. Oh, yeah. Like the, the the wind in your face, oh. the speed. That, that, like it, it. That's one where you know some rides you know do second row, front row is not that big of a difference. That's that's a big difference. That is the ride you have to I would, have to yeah. wait. Even if it means coming here right when the park in, opens, in the like running oh, yeah. straight for the front row so you don't have to wait in a long line, like it's worth it to do that up front. Here we go, our last ride of the day here on El Toro. What a better way to end things out. Did you guys I mean, know I like this ride? No, I have no idea. A lot? Yeah. Fun fact, um, this ride is awesome. We've done a lot of awesome wind coasters around the world. Yeah, none of them even we, come close to this. We keep though. on coming back to this thing. <laughs> it's just that good. Perfect. It's just a fact.
like I mean you can't <laughs> even hear the lift over. I know it is so quiet it's insane and this is the calm before the storm guys the ride is freakishly huge it is freakishly huge. like we're literally almost at 200 feet in the air yep and it just about to slow down, down when you drop one There's of the no greatest drops down. on the planet let's go Woo! Like takes the wind out of you. It's like absolutely insane. I the air it. time, the the speed, like I'm dizzy. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Yeah, I'm like, well, like I need like to go. I need to like sit down. I know I'm already seated, but I need to like <laughs> I need to stand sit. up and then sit back down. <laughs> <laughs> All right, before we head out for the day, we have to try some of the funnel cakes that Great Adventure has for their new Summer Vibes Festival. This, what you're looking at, is pineapple upside down funnel cake. That looks pretty right side up to me, but all right. That, <laughs> it, it looks fantastic. <laughs> and this is the Fruity Pebble funnel cake. I'm oh totally my god! I love Fruity Pebble! This is insane. I don't even know where to start. <laughs> Dan's like, can, can I? <laughs> All right, Sarah, which one do you like best? I'm a fruity pebble kind of guy, but yeah. they're both amazing. Like I want to gorge myself. <laughs> hey, I I get it. I I love these. Dan, which one do you like more? Uh, I like the fruity pebble. That one. Okay. Oh, yeah, that one. Micah, fruity pebble, next level. See, I like the pineapple one. It's got dough whip on it. It's so good. Well, let me, let me, I just love anything dough. pineapple. I mean, like Look they could have a pineapple on pizza right. funnel cake, and I would love it. You know, <laughs> <laughs> well, that does it for an awesome day here at Six Flags Great Adventure. It was They're great awesome. to be back here. Uh, it's always an absolute blast. I mean, the rides are fantastic. The people are fantastic, and the food we had today, like, oh my, oh gosh. my gosh. So yeah, uh, Summer Vibes Festival. A definite win. So fun. There's just so many little things like they like, clearly put like their heart into like making this a really fun festival. I yeah. highly recommend checking it out. No, I definitely. So it runs the, uh, a couple more weeks here, so you definitely want to check it out. I believe it's like mid-August, so uh, if you're planning on making a visit to Great Adventure, check out some of the things that we showed in this video. Yes, get some of the food. The lemonade. The lemonade, guys. Yeah. <laughs> and the funnel cakes, yeah. Natural hot water. I'm so full. <laughs> yeah. So, guys, what was your favorite ride from today? Your first time here. Oh, El Toro. El Toro. Good All answer. Right. Good answer. Oh, what God. do you think? King to Ka? Yeah. Also, a very good answer. Yeah. Yeah. No, uh, but they, they have so many good it's attractions here. Life. You can't go wrong with any of them. So, all right. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to stay tuned for more here at Coaster Studios, and we'll see you next time.